Angry Troll says, I can't wait until some hero comes and smashes your face in. You should do it yourself now to save the energy of that hero. Well, why don't you be the hero and come bash in my brains right now? Now, I don't know about you, but I've encountered way too many, as forums tend to call them, trolls on the internet. Trolls are the people on the internet responsible for internet harassment. Whether they flood a forum in one day, then disappear forever, or if they're continually coming back, no matter how many times you ban him or her. The most important rule, never ever feed one. That is, unless you want to keep the flames of verbal abuse coming. Which I don't think you do. Unless you're gonna get BURNED! OUCH BURN! OUCH BURN! OUCH BURN! Isn't this just making the oddest image in your mind? Internet language is one of the weirdest, wackiest things around. So... Take an ugly, mindless troll. Give it an account on the internet, and give it some way which can hurl fire onto innocent user pedestrians, which may end up getting very angry, fueling the fire of said troll. And then you get OUCH BURNED! Of course, it's all symbolic. But it's a good symbol all the same. You see, on the internet, especially in the more popular communities, there are always some people who get their fun from getting a rise out of other people. It doesn't matter who they are, what they've done, oftentimes, even if they've done anything to upset them in particular, they'll pick on the easiest subjects in a hope to get a really good reaction. It's kind of like the people in one of your kindergarten classes that used to direct things like yo mama jokes at you. <clears throat> yo mama is a philanthropist! <clears throat> but just like what your parents would say after you reported the events of this tragic school day. That little man just tried to get a rise out of you! Tell him, honey. Son, listen up, because the more you get angry, the more he's gonna want to do it, see? The most important thing to remember in this situation is the oft-repeated phrase, Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. Of course they can, at times, even harder than sticks and stones, depending on the size of stick and stone. These trolls just want to hurt your feelings. But at a time like this, when they're only doing it to make you feel like you're a lugubrious, sloth-like, a lugubrious, sloth-like, slack-jawed, buffoon-baboon face. You really shouldn't take it to heart. The internet is crawling with these guys, and if you let those sort of insults creep into your brain, they'll most likely bite into some neurons and give you some sort of mental flu. Then you'll probably start becoming the said buffoon-baboon face in your misery. Oh, depression, sadness, self-loathing. What is this buffoon-baboonery? Nah. Nah. Remember, this isn't even at your school. This is on the net. Just like in a fish net, you can take out whatever you don't want. And drop it back from whence it came. One of the prominent features on everything on the internet is the ability to block people to your own liking, and if you're careful, never run into them on your web-going experiences ever again. In fact, the people who'd really like to harm you would not be all that obvious about it. The people you usually find only do it for their own twisted fun. This means that these insults mean absolutely nothing. They find it especially funny if you take everything they say seriously and will continue to cyber-terrorize you with their arsenal of disgusting words and subjects ready to aim and fire! Ow, my chin. They'll aim directly at race, gender, handicaps, including glasses, intelligence, talents, anything they can get their hands on. And unless you're prone to insults, it's bound to hurt at least a little. Especially if you end up sharing work on the internet, art, animation, videos, music, you're gonna have to be ready for people who say that they really hate your work, and many times even you. 
so you're going to have to have some self-esteem and not let these comments get into your system. Whenever you open yourself up on the internet, you set yourself up for people attacking your weak defense points, acquiring 1 million gil, an ether, and 2 tonics! So don't take it to heart! That's the most important thing when dealing with such low lives as trolls. <laughs> In fact, you should laugh at it, especially their idiotic spelling. So the ways to get rid of a troll are... Warning, don't make any negative reaction to it. The less of a reaction the troll gets from you, the less they want to bother you. Oh, block them. Seriously, this is the internet. They won't to get that sort of reaction from you. And, like, one Three. click and poof, <laughs> report ah. this activity to an administrator. Unless, of course, they got a new IP or read the terms of use on a web community, harassment of any sort is against forum laws. You report it, they get banned. And that is the law. Now, one last thing, and I'm not aiming this at the people who might be getting hurt, but the people who might be hurting others. You know who you are. Yes, trolls, this means you. There might even be one of them out there in the audience. Please, trolls, stop what you're doing. You don't realize the effects you're having on others just for your own mindless fun. When you insult someone, whether they feel it right away or not, it subconsciously hurts their self-esteem. <sighs> Insults can make someone go into a deep depression, I'll have you know. So don't supply to the heap. The world is full enough of that stuff. Another thing! Whether or not you hurt someone else's feelings, it's the lowest of the low to put someone else down. This entertainment of sorts is just to make you feel better about yourself. By putting someone else down, you're just trying to boost up your own ego. Isn't that a bit pathetic? Finally, think about the golden rule. How would you feel if someone hurled the insults back at you? I'm sure most of you wouldn't laugh it off. I'm sure you'd have some strong feelings if you were on the other end of the insult. Think about it. I do hope you enjoyed my health class presentation. I had about 30 minutes of footage actually, and I thought that you'd enjoy seeing a bunch of the funnier mess-ups that I did. Don't you? Don't you? I can't see why you wouldn't! I'm going insane! <laughs> And drop it back from whence it came. Nah. Uh. <laughs> what am I doing? I have to stop. This is on the net. Trolls are the people. Trolls are the people. Trolls are the people on the internet responsible for internet harassment. Whether they flood a forum in one day or continually come back under different IP names, spreading their legacy like so much tartar sauce on a batch of Miss Friday's fish. It didn't come out right. I should use the script. Lampshade. I think. Oh dear. Ah. <laughs> 